Greetings from Farmer Bill, the funds are at Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery. And uh, I've talked a little bit throughout our video series here on the blog and our, our YouTube uh, videos about drip irrigation and how we feed the plants and, and the drip tube coming to it. But how does it get there? Well, it comes from right here is, is the main source, is a, is a pump that we have tapped into a, a line that comes all the way over from the farm buried underground. And that's the line coming in and it goes underground and goes all the way back to the farm. And you need a booster pump to help make that happen because it travels several hundred yards to get here. And so we have a booster pump in the field with an inductor right here that we're able to feed small amounts of fertilizer in right into the water stream that goes to the plant. That allows us to use minimal fertilizer, redu reduces our cost, and it's just a little bit more friendly to the environment. And that's what we ultimately want. We, we don't want to spend any more than we have to to produce a product, but if we don't produce a high quality product, it doesn't matter. So the piping, this is the lay flat tube that lays flat when it doesn't have pressure from the water on it, goes out to the field, and then they trunk off that main trunk line. And so this blue tube goes out there, I goes way out there and tees off, and it comes back again to this other harder plastic lay flat. And from there, the water passes through the big two inch line, goes into the little drip tube that has little micro emitters on it that are pressure equalizing. So they get the same amount of water at the far end of the row, in this case, watermelon, as they do at the near end. And that's how we feed these guys because the plastic here holds the weeds down. Again, so we can use fewer weed uh, control chemicals or anything like that and it creates a nice little warm environment there it keeps it real hot in there because the black plastic absorbs the sunlight and then we just put small amounts of water in there that way we don't have to rely on rainfall because watermelons like like to use a lot of water and uh, if we don't get rain when they're uh, making fruit we're in trouble so we have the, the tube that goes down there and we're also able to give them a little fertilizer oh and we even have a honeybee working Little honeybee is reaching out in there. There are male and female blossoms on the plants and a pollinator. You have every so often you have a plant that's a pollinator that really doesn't produce a lot of fruit but provides the necessary genetic material out in the field to make everything happen. And the honeybees come out here and work the plants. They get the pollen, we get the watermelon. Once again, Bill Back and the Funds are from Mays Valley Farm Market Winery saying thank you for stopping by.